Yeah, I actually have two iterations of the podcast assignment. One is a follow along where I go and I make a podcast where it's either me talking about case studies, talking about cool things that are happening that week, that month, or just relevant things happening in the marketing industry. Or I go and I actually talk to someone in the industry and have a conversation, almost like an interview with them. We talk about how they got into marketing, we talk about what they love about their job, we talk about what students should expect and do to get into the role that they're in someday. And then I also have an assignment where students go and do the exact same thing that I'm doing. So I model it for them and then they go out and they talk to someone in industry. It allows them to feel like they're not just sitting in a classroom all the time. A lot of students feel really cooped up, maybe they get less engaged. They get to actually go out and talk to someone who might be their idol. I tell them to dream big and think really big. Sometimes people want to go and just talk to their dad. I actually make it a requirement that they cannot talk to a parent. They have to go and have one level of separation. So they get to go out, meet somebody new, and ultimately they build a lot of confidence. When I first announced the assignment, it's, <laughs> it's usually a bit of a mixed bag. Some students don't flinch and they're kind of like, whatever, it'll be fine. But I have a lot of students that get really nervous. But <laughs> what I did was I created a resource that said, okay, instructions for what to do in case you're in panic mode about who to interview. Step one, dream big. What's an industry that you really love? Are you an athlete? Do you love Nike? Do you love video games? Would you wanna work for marketing in the video game industry? And I sort of walk them through this process of what they actually love. I get them to dream. And as soon as I engage that dream, it becomes less of an assignment and more of a personal fulfillment opportunity. Part of the reason I was inspired to do it was because of ChatGPT and AI. <laughs> because of AI, I thought, well, I gotta be a little bit creative. And so I came up with this assignment because it forces students to not just sit in their room and use AI, but to go out and actually talk to someone. And it's extremely fulfilling for the students because they get to go and produce something and they can show that to an employer. When I went to do the podcast assignment myself, I was really worried about going against the grain, you know, doing something that no one else was doing. I thought, oh, well, this is a huge risk. What if it just totally flounders? And ultimately, I think fear of trying something new really holds back the learning experience for students. Students want to do something that's a little bit different. They endeavor to be different. And so I figure as educators, it's our responsibility to go and take risks and do something different. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And students respect that. They respect when you're going to try to enrich their experience. And so at the end of the day, this risk turns into great reward for the students. All of the students, it was completely unanimous. Whenever they did their final reviews, they said the podcast assignment was the most interesting thing that they did in the class. And they thought it was perhaps one of the most enriching things they did in their entire university career.